Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the summon and ascension system in the game and just go through it for you guys. So when you're looking at this game, you understand what you're getting into. We're also on, uh, just into day four, starting day four of this account. Uh, and we are going to pop some summons as well in this one. And we do have uh, a guaranteed epic in this lineup for us. So hopefully we get something decent. But the first thing I want to go through in this one is talk about the summon system. So we have two different types of summons essentially. And that is we have the all hero summon and the epic recruitment now the difference between the all hero and the epic is that the epic you have a higher chance of getting epics with a 5.22 and you've got five that you can place on your wish list now the elite hero the wish list here these are going to come off of your wish list on the other one whereas these are independent so you set this wish list independently from this wish list but these are uh, these elite heroes down here the purple ones they just apply from this wish list over into this wish list when we look at the rates uh, you can see it's all those same ones that I have put over there. So that's the way that works. But as you can see, 5.22% on that one. Uh, and over on this one, if we go to the rates, it's only a 2.05% chance. So those are our rates. Now, when we go ahead and we look at the actual ascensions required, this is going to be one of those games where you need a lot of copies, but you do get a lot of summon currency and you do get a lot of copies. So we'll talk about it. Now, first off, this left, left section is the A level or the elite heroes. This is the S level or the epic heroes. Uh, basically, these are the gold ones. These are the purple ones. That's the simple way to look at it. Now, you can jump over and take a look at this. Uh, Pride Win have a database going and everything. If you want to go and check out Pride Win, I'll leave it linked in the description. But as you can see here, this goes through how many you need for each each ascension tier. Now, when you get into Paragon uh, Paragon levels, they're not really essential. If we look at the Supreme Plus being where you really want to get characters to, because if we jump over here and we take a look at characters uh, and we jump over here and we go into this one, you can see that Supreme Plus is how we unlock our final ability. We get one at Legendary Plus, one at Mythic Plus, and one at Supreme Plus. So past Supreme Plus is sort of whale territory that you're not too stressed about. Uh, eventually, maybe it will become an important thing. But for functionality of your characters, Supreme Plus is the main place you want to get to. So let's jump back and take a look at this. So essentially what they've done here is total it out. So for an A-level character to get to Supreme Plus tier, you're going to need 63 dupes. So plus one for the initial copy, 64 total, plus 200 faction acorns. Now, the good thing about those acorns is they only come into here. So it's only when you're getting to like that final stage of ascending a character where the uh, the purple characters start to steal resources from the uh, gold characters or the S level characters. Now, this used to not be the case. It used to be that these guys needed acorns all the way and it felt really bad having to use those acorns on these guys when you really want to upgrade these guys. So I think they've done a good job of balancing that system. But once again, the purples need 64 copies, whereas the uh, golds only need eight copies, but then a bunch of the, uh, the acorns. Now, I'm not going to talk about Celestial Hypergenes because I think that's a bit more niche and that's a bit later on. But that's just a look at what you got. Now, like I said, 64 in total does seem like a hell of a lot. However, we do have some things that benefit us along the way. So if we get back into the summons and take a look, uh, we do have the, if we go over here, these are at a 22.5% chance. You, you get one of these every time you do a 10 pull, essentially. And I often get doubles, triples, and you get a ton of them. So they do come pretty frequently. The other thing that we do have for obtaining those purple guys uh, is if we go to the Emporium and we go to the Dream Store. Now the Dream Store, you get a ton of this currency. I've already bought four copies of my Viperion, who's kind of been my carry for campaign. I still haven't decided who I think is the optimal one to pick up from here for progression. I've been testing this account with Viperion, but yeah, I've already, I'm, I'm on day basically start of day four. So I've played three days on this account and I've already picked up four copies from here. So you do have this as well, which allows you to target a character. So you do get a plenty of points uh, to exchange there. So that is another leniency on these characters. And then the arena store is where you're going to get uh, some of your uh, your epic heroes. You can see here, this is here. I've already bought one copy. I'm on one of two. So once again, in three days, I managed to pick up a copy of her as well. So that gets me a dupe on her. So there are systems as well that you do get uh, extra copies and stuff like that uh, from these things. So 
that's pretty much all the systems in place now your standard banner has a 60 pity uh, on the epic heroes the epic banner has a 30 pity on epic heroes so that's the way all the summoning and ascensions work but essentially it's one of those games you just keep summoning eventually you're going to get there rng does play a part but they do have good systems in place through the shops and through the other stuff to get yourself a like a decent amount of copies of those characters along the way but you know you're always going to be at the mercy of some rng at some stage in these games so for those who played afk arena and are looking at it and kind of comparing the epic heroes to what our elite heroes are in afk arena it's not really a fair comparison to say yeah but afk arena has a 30 pity this has a you know this has a 60 pity because they are different in that in this one your purple heroes are kind of like your rares from afk arena but they can get all the way to max ascension and they have functionality throughout the whole game so it's it's not a fair comparison for those coming from afk arena just so you guys know and i do think this system is pretty fair from what i've uh, tested myself so far so let's go ahead let's pop some summons now we're way away from our pity on this one so hopefully we can get one early but as you can see we've got 11 pulls and we are 11 recruits until our pity down here so let's see how we go let's go ahead and pop a 10 pull fingers crossed okay and there you go like three purples like very often get multiple purples in your pools uh hoping for viperian copies really uh is what i'm hoping for because you know he's the one i'm carrying with honestly i'm, I'm cool with the sylvanas as well let's go let's go please already dude i they used to call him eddie and i can't take Odie seriously dude i've pulled so many copies of damien i've pulled so many copies Actually, that's all right, because that will, uh, I need to get that, that gives me enough for the next ascension of Damien, which allows me to unlock the next level of the labyrinth, because I've been held out because you have to, like, get certain amount of characters to a certain ascension, and, uh, he, get, he gets my final one, so that unlocks the next stage of the labyrinth for me, which is good. Okay, this is, this is a bad one, only the one purple, rip, rip that pull. Okay, not bad, you know, she's good for bossing, that's cool. Let's go again, Yes. Okay, just the one purple again, dude. We're, we're, not, we're not smashing the raids here at the moment. Another Odie, that's okay. I think I got enough for one more temple, do I? Insufficient. Dude, where am I? I must, I must be close. I'm, I must be close. Can, can you please remove that? Oh, 2470. Yeah, we'll be able to get that. We'll be able to get that. Because how many have we got? I've got 27 to the pity. All right, this one. Let's go. Temple. Give me like a double in this. Give me, give me it early, please. Okay, we got it early. To be fair, we're only one away from the pity. I'm curious to see how many off, how many our pity is now. Uh, whether it was like the last pull. Okay, good. We got smoke. Sweet. I, I, I really wanted Smokey because I've been using Antandra because the game gives you so many copies of Antandra. Um, just straight up through the campaign, even though I haven't had her on my wish list, which I should probably put her on the wish list to, to make her my secondary tank. Uh, so yeah, we're 24 recruits until pity. That's sick. So that actually that actually came early in that 10 pool, that that uh, that epic, which is fantastic. I'll just pop this single anyway. I get nothing on that. All right, let's bounce out. So I am really really happy with that Smokey, uh, because now we get to play around with Smokey, and I can play around with basically this formation here, running with Antandra and Smokey. Uh, and I can do some other things as well, but this is a pretty decent call because Antandra's high ascension because we get free copies of her along the way. Uh, and that's pretty solid. So let's go in. Let's actually jump in and see if we can get somewhere. So if we go over... Wait, do I have enough experience to level them up? Uh, if I go you, no. Okay. I want to get everyone to level 70, but I did bump these guys up to 71 for the actual skill increase. But because uh, if we go over here, I need to unlock this. I need to complete AFK stage 185. I'm up to 180 that I'm struggling on because this enemy Seth is just an absolute savage. So let's see if this Smokey can help me out with it. Uh, so let's go put Lucius in. Uh, let's put you there. Let's see if this works because the idea is Lucius is going to punt the Seth and like buy us a little bit of time. But you can see we die super quick there. We die super quick there. Uh, oh, wait, why did I put Lucius in? Dude, dude, that, that was my former strategy. Wait, I was supposed to put Antandra in. <laughs> let's, let's, let's try that again, guys. 
Uh, let's try this. And Tardra can get pretty tanky once she gets her ult. The problem is I don't have Rowan now for the extra potions, so we're going to die super early. Uh, let's... Dude. Dude, that's Seth. Seth is an absolute savage. He just absolutely melts me. Now, I think I might be able to do this on manual if I make her pop the minion down the bottom here. Like, we're not even at a massive deficit, but I'm just struggling so hard with that Seth. Uh, all right, so let's let's do it. Let's play it like this. Actually, let's play it like this. Let's see. Let's see if this has any beneficial effect by splitting the damage. Okay, Thorin still drops pretty quick, and Tandra does live a little bit longer. Thorin gets back up. Thorin's dead already, is he? Yeah, dude, that Seth is just melting my my tanks beyond belief, dude. I just can't deal with him. Guys, give me a counter to Seth. Give me the counter, because I'm, I'm trying hard here. All right, let's go again. I might try a couple times off camera and see if we can do it. Uh, maybe if I swap that. Maybe if I swap that, because then it may... Because he'll probably nuke Antandra pretty quick. Okay, now he moves to him. That's okay. But now he's into my back row, which is not what I want. Let me put this on one time speed. And manual. And let me, let me, let me plonk that on those two. No, nah, we were too late. We were too late, I think. Yeah, dude, that's it. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm going to try a couple things. Okay, I feel like I was getting close to somewhere and I was just RNG fighting it, but they have this feature which I'm not a massive fan of, which once you, I think it's like 20, I, I, did, I did 20 to 30 retries, probably more, I don't know exact numbers, but then you have to start spending gold to do it, but it only has like a 30 minute countdown timer, so I guess like, you know, do your attempts. I'm not sure if that refreshes all your attempts and you can go like 20 times again or if that just refreshes one attempt. I don't know. I don't like these kind of features. I think if you want to keep playing, you should be able to, but that's where I'm at. But I was I was fiddling with this formation. We were kind of getting somewhere. We were trying to split that damage as much as possible. The problem is the Seth does kill my Viperion. Now I can swap the ordering around and put my Sasir over there, but then he was killing my uh, Smokey and so just couldn't quite find the perfect uh, combination now once again if i re reformatted her to actually hit the seth maybe that could have helped me a little bit but yeah we're, we're, we're sort of we're sort of struggling at this stage let's see how much it's how much it, dude it's up to 1500 yeah let, let, let's try it let's let's do this dude it's just like there's just so much heat on this mauler team with the seth and the double odies and it's just like too much for me to deal with uh, unfortunately, the other thing is Thorin uses his ult before he dies, so it's just a wasted ult. I think if I slowed this down and manualed and didn't use Thorin's ult and actually use Sasea on the Seth, then maybe we could get somewhere. But, you know, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's put on one time speed manual. I, I think I think we got we, we, we got to do ourselves a favor and try it. All right, let's, let's do it on that. All right, let's go. Let's try one more time. All right, begin. Yes. I wish you could have select characters on auto and select characters on manual. That would be huge for me. Because uh, Thorin, I just want to let him die. I just want to let him die so he doesn't ult. Okay, so now we can do it on... Oh, wait. No. Okay, so her, I want to do it on the Seth. And then him... Uh, I want to do it facing that way. Okay, now I can put it on auto. Ah, Sasir uh, still dies. Wait, did we get the set down? Oh, we actually got the we actually got the set down. We're, we're still not going to get there, I don't think, because the Thorin isn't in the front position, which means we lose everyone else because we got pushed back. But I feel like with retries, with a little bit of a uh, little bit more RNG, because we can manage to get rid of that Seth. If we could do a little bit better on RNG, like maybe, yeah, we're, we're burning some gold here, <laughs> dude. All right, so let's uh, let's let's slow it down. Let's let once again we'll let Thorin die. Let Thorin die. Yep, that's cool. Uh, we'll heal up. We'll pop Cecilia on the Seth if we can. Yep. Okay, right there. And then we'll pop. Ah, oh, dude, no, no, no. Cecilia died. Ah, oh, dude, like this, this is the thing with manually. There's so much RNG to play with. Like the RNG that said that, that our Sasir died killed us. Ah, uh, rip. 
Anyway, I I'm going to stop spending gold because I'm going to be broke by the time I finish trying this stage. <laughs> so that is where we're at, guys. That is like what I say. We're at the start of day four. So that's pretty much three days play. That's where we got to. Still progressing through, dude. I just need to get this stage. It's killing me. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.